Here I go again, more slippers. I add on my knitting needles 28 stitches. Then I make 20 rolls of knitting. On the 19th roll turnaround, I start purling. Then I purl knit until I get to the length that I want my slipper to be. I measure with a tape measure. This is nine inches long. Then I take it off the needles by taking a darning needle and going through the stitches. So this can be pulled together when it's ready to be sewed. Do not start sewing this slipper together until you make the other so you can match them up so they will be the same. And don't forget to leave that extra length of yarn on here because you have to use that for sewing. The second slipper is now done in the same size. And as you go through here with your yarn, make sure there's plenty of yarn left, and then you'll have that extra piece. Turn your slipper inside out and then you sew the toe part and you will come up this way a little bit. I will show you as we go along. Sewing sometimes would be easier for someone else to do it their way. The toe area is sewed about three and a half inches into the slipper. I pull on the slipper a little bit because I knit very tight. Now we will go to the back end and sew the heel. I used to leave the slipper the way it is right now, but then I started to make two rolls, one one way and then back again, of double crochet to give it a little collar and I think it looks much, much better. Showing some of the slippers and how they look when they are done. I use acrylic type yarn and I use two strands of yarn to make my slippers. They last longer and they wash up very nicely. This is great exercise if you have arthritis in your hands. I'll tell you, this is the best therapy you can have. Deal with the pain of knitting and crocheting, but have straight fingers and not all broken up from arthritis. Yarn is not cheap, but either is fishing or hunting. And look at you can make these things for maybe a church donation or your gifts, teacher's gifts, children's gifts, whatever. Through the years I have sold some, I have donated some, but now I'm trying to keep track of how many I have and how many I can make and keeping my arthritis down. Remember, pills and medicine cost money, but so does yarn, but yarn, you get something out of it. From seven years ago until now, I have made 947 pair of slippers. There has been some sold, some donated, and some given away. And if I do sell any, that goes back for the yarn. But to this point, that's how many I have up to date. 947. And this is what I have just counted. I don't know what I've made through the years. I do a lot of these if I watch TV. During the summer, not so much because I am canning.